Okay, so today we're going to show you how we're going to build a kegerator from a fridge. Um, this isn't the only way to build a kegerator. This is as a guide because we get lots of calls and lots of emails. What do I need to start kegging? What do I need to start building and using taps? Um, so we thought we'd show you how we're going to build our kegerator that we use here at the Malt Miller. Um, it's like any question. Um, you ask a dozen brewers, you're going to get a dozen different answers on how to do this. This is just the way that we're going to do it today with our fridge. Okay, so we've got a selection of parts that we're going to use to put together a kegerator. Long shank, into tap tap, slender tap handle, John Guest 3 8 to 5 8 adapter. This is what goes onto the back of the tap shank. Uh, 3 8 to 3 16 line reducer, 3 8 stem. It's a 3 16th push fit reducer, liquid outpost, CMB, and a John Guest quarter FFL female to 3 8th line adapter. We also have some 3 16th line, roughly about 3 meters, which you can cut back as you want to then play with and get your flow running correctly, and a small section of 3 8th line. We have a small selection of tools that we're going to be using for this job. Now we're not saying that these are the exact tools you need to use. This is just what we're going to be using for hard conversion. Um, pair of scissors, Sharpie, or some kind of mark, depends on where to mark where you're going to be drilling. Um, we've got some, it's actually electrical tape that we're using today. You can use masking tape, anything that you can kind of write on to mark where you're going to drill your hole. Ruler, something solid like that. Um, and a drill. And a 22 mil drill bit which is going to be the main hole driller. Okay so the fridge we've got today is one that we ordered online, it's a brand new fridge. You could um, buy a second hand one off eBay, wherever you choose to or however you choose to source your fridge they can all be converted pretty much into a kegerator. Um, things to think about, which way do you want the door to open, um, how much space is inside for new kegs, used kegs, what space and cutaways you're going to have to make on the door, what you're going to actually have to avoid so this lip here, you really don't want to be drilling through where this lip is. You want to be beneath it. Are the tap shanks going to hit the kegs when the kegs are sitting inside the fridge? These are all things that you need to think about according to your fridge that you source and how you specify. And also watch out for the temperature control, where that loca is located. That could stop you from getting two kegs in there and restrict you down to one keg. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure how far down we're going to drill the holes on the door taking into account these lips and seams which are on the inside of the door. So measuring down from the top edge of the fridge down to I think roughly around about 11 centimeters should do us. So we'll then kind of be in center and avoid all of the lips and have plenty of room for the shanks to come through. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, measure the outside of the fridge. What's the width of the door of the fridge? This one happens to be 54 centimeters, meaning 27 here. It's the middle of the fridge. So we said 11 centimeters down. Kind of, we're going to be there. That's the middle of our fridge door. So we measured down from the top of the door of the fridge. We know that's the center of the fridge. We're now going to measure out 13 centimeters from each side. So we're going to be putting a mark roughly about there. And we're going to be putting a mark roughly about there. So 13 from there. Could probably do a spirit level if you really want it to be totally accurate. There. Okay, so now we're just going to measure down 11. Look at that bullseye. <laughs> bullseye. <laughs> so we're going to drill a pilot hole. Okay, 
right? Okay, the next section is to drill the large hole that the tap shank is going to go for the door. For this, we're using a 22mm wood bill drip. I'm just going So there we go, both holes are drilled. Okay, so we've pierced the outer skin of the bridge door. Um, we've not gone all the way through yet, so we're just gonna hook out these bits of metal from the bridge door. They're very hot, so that's why we're using something to hook them out, because they've just been drilled. Okay. So now we're gonna carry on drilling through to the inside of the fridge. just like an insulation material so it's like a soft foam so it comes out quite easily. So I've just wiped down some of the mess we've created so we can see what we're doing. Um, remove the tape. So we're finished with that now. Now as you can see we're almost all the way through the fridge door now. Okay, so looking at the inside of the fridge door now, you can see where we started to come through. So we're just gonna go from the inside towards the outside. Just gently. So that's your tap shank. Don't forget to put the black collar on because if you thread it all the way through, screw it on and have to come back you'll be quite annoyed um, tap shank okay, I'll just thread in it through Last washer is going to go on this side, which is going to secure it. And then just keep turning. At this point, you're probably going to want some grips to start doing the last part of the turning on the outside of the fridge. So we're just going to come back and tighten up the last on the brass nut on the shank. Okay, so there's the tap shank. This is our tap that we're going to use. Screw the handle on. Locate the tap. Try and get it straight. And screw the shank onto the tap. Okay. Voila. Okay, then the last job on the tap. Just tighten up the tap handle. So, okay. then we're going to pop the reducer into there, and we're going to screw that into there. Then your 316th line just pushes in. That then feeds down to the other end. To the line reducer. That. And onto the 3 8 line. That then pushes onto there. John Guest Fittings are fantastic, aren't they? Just make life so much simpler. And this makes it all so much easier to strip down and clean afterwards as well. 
and you're switching your kegs and wanting to do your lines. And then that would just hook onto your keg. Inside of the fridge, what we've also done is we've passed through some 3 16th line through the drainage hole so that, that can then attach onto another 3 16th, 3 8th line reducer, which then goes onto a gas outpost. So you can also feed gas to your kegs in there. You could also put a splitter on there if you wanted to put gas onto both kegs. Okay, so we've fitted the second long shank. Um, we've also then fitted a intertap flow control tap. We've also used a little double-ended adapter which we sell where you can actually modify items to put on as a tap handle. In this case, we've drawn out a pull ball and screwed that into there. You could use anything from a piece of wood or whatever you feel is a personal item to personalize your kegerator. But that's our kegerator build done.